Searching and viewing results. The search box at the top of the screen enables effective searching. As you start typing, Practical Law will suggest search terms from our indexing, document titles and key terms. You can narrow the content being searched by practice area using this drop-down menu. A number of search connectors are available to use. You can view them all by clicking on this I button. So rather than searching for two terms, you can search for an exact phrase by using speech marks. If you want to search just the title of a document, then you can use the TI function. You can use these options to resort your results and show more or less detail for each result. Filtering your results. Having run a search, filters on the left enable you to refine your results. Selecting a filter will automatically update your results. If you want to apply more than one filter, you can select multiple filters. Viewing documents. Information about the document is displayed on the right. It includes links to resource history and related content. A linked collapsible table of contents for the document is displayed on the left. You can hide the table of contents for ease of reading. An arrow at the bottom of the screen enables you to quickly jump back to the top. A link to related content for this document is available on the right and in the header bar. You can use this tool to show or hide highlighting of your search terms and to jump to where they appear in the document. You can also search for words or phrases within this document using the Keyword Binder. Navigating between documents. You can use these arrows to browse to the previous and next results. You can use this drop-down to see the last 10 documents you have viewed. You can also use this link to go back to your list of results. You can easily identify which documents you have viewed in the last 30 days. Here's a summary of all the search functions available, and all of these can be combined.